and I am here to do mail call for the month of December and because it's December and it's Christmas I'm actually going to do mail call a little differently this time I'm actually going to talk about what I got out of my P.O. box as well as any gifts that I received from my quilting friends now I've already shared with you in my live video that I got a gift from Peggy O'Connor she's in my scrub quilting club and she gave me some food items she made apple butter that she canned and she also canned some peppers and so my husband and I have been enjoying those so thank you so much Peggy for that and then I also have received some lotion from Bath and Body Works from Susan Tromler and I haven't used it yet but I will enjoy it I love Bath and Body Works products so thank you so much Susan for that and I will probably come back in additional video because it is Saturday and I'm recording this. I went to the P.O. Box today. And so if I get anything else in the P.O. Box before Friday, I will most definitely add it. And then I most definitely will probably have on a different shirt because I will show you what I actually got from my quilting friend. So I got an envelope from my P.O. Box from Canada. Wow. And it is a Christmas card, has angels, and the card is from the Mouth and Foot Painting Artist. So that's pretty cool. It's uh, Christmas carolers from an original painting. Very cool. It says, hugs to you and happy quilting. To Tijuana Mahone, may your Christmas season be filled with joy and peace. Merry Christmas to you and your family from Kelly Mueller in Chilliwack, British Columbia, Canada. So thank you so much, Kelly. That was really sweet of you. I really appreciate it. And I will be putting all my cards probably on my front door. So I will do that and then show that hopefully if I don't forget at the end of the video. And then I also got a card from Claudette Bettis. Claudette was our um, my subscriber of the year for tea quilts. So she says with many thanks and she has flowers on the front of the card. And so it says dear T life's a lot brighter and happier too because of thoughtful people like you. That's really sweet. She says you give so much of yourself. Thank you for all you do. Thanks for the beautiful fabric from Claudette, 12, 2018. So thank you, Claudette. As I, as I was saying, Claudette is thanking me for her gift that she received from being subscriber of the year. She's got the 20 Sweet 16s that were boutiques that I had purchased from Hancock's of Paducah. So, and she's from Anaheim, California. So, thank you all so much. Again, even though it's Christmas, I'm going to go ahead and put Claudette's card up with my other Christmas cards as well. But thank you all so much. And again, I will come back and add on to this video. So, I will be seeing you in another segment. Bye-bye for now. Hi, everybody. It is December 25th. But by the time you're watching this, it will be three days later. But I wanted to come on and show you some of the things that I did get for Christmas. And you can't see that I'm actually sort of kind of wearing a Santa shirt. <laughs> I actually got this shirt at five below. I'll try to take a picture of it and add it up here so you can see it. But the first thing I want to do is at my quilting guild last Thursday, we had a potluck. And then we have an opportunity draw every month. But in the month of December, we have a lot more items up for grabs. And so I purchased $10 worth of tickets. For every $5 worth of tickets, you get six tickets. If you purchase one ticket, you get $4, you get one ticket. So it took a while for my numbers to get called, but I did get some of my numbers called. I actually got five of them called. And so I just got a little red magnetic pin cushion. 
And then I got a spool of essential thread, which is by connecting threads. And I'm hoping you can see this, that it's focusing, although my hand is shaking. <laughs> I am also very tired. <laughs> and then I got a couple of these little card patterns. This one is called Carefree, and they're by Villa Rose Design. So that's one. And this one is called Bride's Dream. It's also by Villa Rose designs <laughs> so yes um oh and then the last gift that i want is one of the shops donated a gift certificate and so i won this 15 dollar gift certificate to also personal quote shop so i will be of course making a trip there they are located in st peter's missouri and then they just purchased the shop that was in collinsville just to go see what has changed since they have gained ownership so thank you for donating that to our guild and then my small group that meet in each other's homes we had a guild meeting i'm going to leave this in a box and hopefully you can read this but it's oh so organized stash and store and it's the red the ultimate store station the ultimate storage system to keep everything in place and it's one of those little gift things i mean one of those little things where you can put your scissors and whatnots in here your sewing notions and norma silk actually gave me this from our small gill and she also gave this fat quarter as well so that's from norma and then Cynthia, which is also in our guild, she gave me a Benertex Fat Quarter Pack. And it's got five Fat Quarters in here. It actually came from Tuesday morning. It's got names on here. And other words, because it's, it's got something written on here. I haven't opened this up to see what it is. We've got pens on this one. We've got watches, <laughs> and my battery is, of course, blinking. And then we've got this kind of metallic-y one. And then one with this white that goes to black, apparently. White to black and gray. So thank you, Cynthia. And then two more items. Well, three, actually. This is from Connie Barnett. Oh, my gosh. It's made from wool and she did kind of that hooking i'm not sure what the official name of it is but a nice thick pin cushion or it could be like a mug rug for your coffee i have to ask her exactly what it is but it is really pretty and here's the design again where she did all of the hooking of rug pieces of pieces of wool not rug but wool and she used the rug material right here it's pretty cool love that this one is from rita she always packaged things very nicely we just went to rita's studio and i told you how she does some paper stuff so she sometimes will make her tags as well so i'll be keeping that <laughs> and her box has little design on it as well and she made her box <laughs> too cute so the paper is just gorgeous she even put some 3d elements onto the paper inside and then a box inside of a box with more decorative elements <laughs> this is too cute look at that another box inside of a box that is cute she told me i was going to crack up when i see this and then it's got decorative elements on the inside this is too cute And then another box in a box. <laughs> this is too cute. And oh, and it's even got my initial inside this one. This is too awesome. So it's kind of like reminding me of those, I think they're Moroccan dolls. I'm not sure who, they, who they're from, but those nesting dolls. Oh, 
too cute and this one has a little dial in it this is too funny so on this one it has like it's a shirt has a button this is too cute I hope my camera holds out for this this is another top I've just taken off another top it's got a snowflake button inside I don't know if I'm ever going to get these back together again. And then it says, Merry Christmas tea. That is too cute. She told me that I was going to be cracking up at this. Has a star inside. Oh my goodness. Santa's hat's in here. And I am so hot. Oh, ornament is in here. <laughs> This is too funny. <laughs> oh, goodness. Another just plain box here. This is hilarious. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this back together. <laughs> too cute. And I'm down to this part. <laughs> it is too funny. Got a snowflake in here. And this is the last box has a little ornament it says ho 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 tea Merry Christmas and I know you can't probably see that and that's the end it's just another box beautiful and so much fun to open I'm going to wait until I'm off camera to open the next thing and this Hi, it's T, and I came back really quick because I just opened another gift from a friend, long distance. Her name is Mary, who lives in Atlanta, and it's a quilt-related gift, and I had never seen this before, so I thought I wanted to come share it really quick before my battery runs out. It's called Spirituality of a Quilter, and it's by Dorothy K. Etter, and I just wanted you to see this. And some of the positions she has held over the years were Director of Campus Ministry at Michigan State University, Campus Ministry at University of Michigan and Western Michigan University, Co-Director of Joshua Foundation and Director of the Campus Ministry School of Boston, Staff Minister of Chattatoga Institution of New York and Junior High Teacher. But it's a book and it has all kinds of quilt related poems and I just thought that I wanted to show you this in case you were interested in purchasing this so thank you Mary I have it was a great surprise so I'm going to go read some of this came from Debbie Huey my friend that I do some road trips with and she's got pretty packaging so here is the container just beautiful and on the inside is a like a head warmer your ear warmer oh my and then wrapped inside of a stocking so this is the stocking pull it back now <laughs> that is cute Oh my, and then it's a candle vase. Beautiful. And it's got, the first block that I seen was the churn dash, which is my favorite blocks. So it's got churn dash blocks, but it's got some other ones as well. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much, Debbie. And then the beautiful container, which is also a gift as well. So thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and that everything that you wanted happened for you on Christmas. So I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye, everybody. See you next time.